morning everybody it is sunday morning august something i don't know it's 10 48 a.m um what's the day let's see let me check bob's work phone if i can figure his work phone out there it's the button there we go august 14th um we we're having a little bit of a late start, but that's okay. We slept in, we needed the rest. Um, <sighs> so as you all know, if you've been following my channel and vlogs for a while, I've been on a um, getting healthier kick, uh, fitness kick. Um, I would say less medication, to, to be on less medication, although that's probably not gonna happen. Um, I'm too old for one. Anyway, I've got too many too many things going on. But uh, I'm on lower dosages of things, which is great. Um, and I've lost 40 to 50 pounds, which is great. One of the things I do is try to walk every day. Like right now, we're pacing around the inside of my house while I'm vlogging. Um, I track my steps with my Fitbit. I have a Fitbit One. That's right, Fitbit One. <laughs> I've had it since just about when Fitbits became a thing. I had one of these and a few months down the road it stopped charging. So Fitbit actually sent me a brand new one. It was under warranty. And this is the one I've had since then. It's at least 10 years or more. It's 10, at least 10 years. Um, it stopped. I'm pushing the button. Oh, there it goes. It stopped. Um, the button's not working all the time. It'll work every now and then. See, now it's not working. Um, it's not always tracking. I think it's finally dying. So we're gonna go out this morning. We've gotta go to Costco and pick up a few things from there, like my bone broth. I think we're going to Target and buying me a new Fitbit finally. I don't know if I'm happy about that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go in the yard. I'm gonna water my plants in the back. Make sure they're doing okay. And then sit and put the knee brace on because my knee's been funny. Not funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> um, and so I just want the extra protection on it while we're out shopping and walking around. And uh, yeah, and we'll go get it done. I'll be okay. back. It's 5.54 p.m. It's still Sunday. And we are sporting our new Fitbit. I know. Anyway. We have made, Bob made, put some burger meat together for hamburgers for dinner tonight. We made overnight oats. I've got bread working, laundry's working, dishes are done. We got a bunch of stuff done once we got home. And anyway, yeah, it's all good. It's been a good afternoon. It's a little bit warm, but we're really trying hard not to turn on the air if we don't need it for lots of reasons, but also because it's still leaking. So anyway. They're supposed to be out Tuesday, so I'll let you know how it goes. I'll be back. Buddy, it is Monday morning, August 15th, I think. I need to have some more coffee, but I've woken up to this morning. Every single one of our bird feeders has squirrels in it. Every time I look out the window, Hold on. Oh, nope, he ran away. I scared him. But anyway, it's pretty cute. They're loud though. <laughs> They're not quite neat eaters. <laughs> All right, I need more coffee. I'll be back. The first of I don't know how many videos is saving. It's rendering right now the vlog for next week. So I'm gonna <sighs> go downstairs and do a couple things down there. I also have to reorganize the storage container closet up here because I just have a habit of in closets and drawers just shoving things in there and closing it and after a while it gets to be too much and I have to clean it and sort it. I know I'm not the only one out there and some of you can sympathize. Be it my sock drawer, the bathroom drawer, or the storage cabinet up here. So, all right. It's not going to do itself. I guess let's go get it done.
as you see, I have to limit myself to confined spaces for things because I do have hoarder tendencies. And if I don't do that, I will fill my house up with junk and art supplies. Like it's a thing. And I know some of you out there can feel me. Just know it. I'll be back. It's 8.25 a.m. Tuesday, August 16th. The furnace people and air conditioner people are coming back today, this morning, any minute now to hopefully, hopefully fix the leak in the air conditioner. You know, I'm hopeful. That's all I can say about that. <sighs> yeah, cross your fingers. I guess there's a whole team of people coming because when the, guy, the kid called this morning to tell me that he was coming, shortly and that there would be another truck and more people following a few minutes after that so <sighs> yeah anyway i won't be doing too much art in the art room today i'm guessing because they're going to be up here god knows how long replacing parts diagnosing the issue yeah anyway i was going to work on that today but got to get the system fixed. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. The air conditioner, heater, furnace people are still here. He's waiting for one of his coworkers to bring a part um, from the office um, to replace one part. Otherwise, he thinks he has it fixed. Cross your fingers. Um, and every time I come over here to the sliding glass door, to take any pictures or video of the bird feeder, the birds all go away. The birds have been at it like crazy today, um, including this big giant blue jay that comes to our backyard, uh, which I'm not bad about, but I wish I could catch it on camera for you all. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, anyway, yeah, that one's empty too. Oh well, I'll be back. It's around 9 20 a.m wednesday august 17th i get to start off today in a bit with a dental appointment because that's how we all want to start a day right Up here watering some of the vegetables and seedlings and you know this is the second time since we moved i've tried to grow some veggies and our yard is just not sunny enough because I think we're too close to the woods and the big trees. And we just don't have much luck with most of it. I will keep watering it for a while and we'll see. This year the lettuce is just not faring well at all. It's just, yeah. Anyway, it's a little late in the season to try to grow it anyway, but still, I was hopeful. I did plant some cucumbers back over there and I did plant a couple of the tomatoes like well, there's one right there my plan is to keep them in the ground as long as possible and or cover them with plastic when we get cold enough temperatures to do that try to keep them alive through the winter and see if I can get something on them these are all supposed to go to the kids house at some point at this rate they might be dead before that happens I don't know Anyway, hoping this morning the dental appointment goes well, cross your fingers, they don't find anything that quote unquote needs fixing, because yeah, I've got to run a couple of errands. Um, I haven't been out of the house in a couple of days, so it's probably about time. The air conditioner does seem to be fixed. It doesn't appear to be leaking anymore. Yay, because today's supposed to be like 99 at least, and we're headed into another hot spell, so. Yeah, I think it's gonna be on a lot. But there's no workmen in the house today. Or going forward for the next few days, that means maybe I can get some artwork done up in the art room because, you know, it's what it's there for. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. It is 9.37. We are actually out of the house and going to get a head start on running a, at least one of the errands before my dental appointment. Uh, 
um, as planned this morning, which shocks the crap out of me to be fair, because I just seem to feel like at least like I'm running behind all the time lately. So I don't know. I know we had a full moon recently and I always feel like I'm like tired and dragging after that. Is it just me? It usually takes me like a couple of weeks to recover. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Anyway, let's go see if Dollar Tree's actually open because there's been a couple times lately where I've gone over and they are not open because of COVID and staffing shortages. So let's go see, I'll be back. Routine cleaning, no issues. Woohoo! I don't have to come back until February. All right, so we're gonna go to Goodwill and then I've got a pop over at the grocery store and then I can go home and have lunch and maybe make some art. All right, I'll be back. Everyone, it is Thursday morning, August 18th, like 8.51-ish AM. And I have been, uh, in case you can't tell by the hot sweaty mess that I am, out for about an hour early this morning pulling weeds. <laughs> Um, because it's going to be another scorcher today and it really needed to be done. So it is done. So now I can go in and take a shower. I got the veggies watered in the back. There is a really cute bumblebee around my flowers. Hold on. Good morning, little guy. Turned all the lights off because it's going to be hot. Anyway. It's one of the longest updates on the planet. Holy crap. Cross your fingers, it's updating okay. And yeah, anyway, we'll find out. It says about a minute remaining. Cross your fingers. Okay, let me see if I can show you all. See that drop? And that one, and that one, that one goes down there. That's sap. <laughs> Bob just cleaned this. There's sap all over my car window again. I hope to God it doesn't rain because if it does, that shit's going to smear everywhere. Holy cow. All right. On to the next place. It's August 18th. It's over 80 degrees outside, although it's not as hot as they expected it to be today. And it's drizzling. It's drizzling. I said just a few minutes ago to the husband that the weather today has been really weird and if I didn't know any better, better, I would say it was either thunderstorm coming or earthquake because the weather is just weird. It's weird. Even for Oregon, this is weird. Look at that. I don't know. Time for dinner though, that's what I do know. I'm away, but we have this big giant blue robin that comes every day to eat out of the bird feeders. This morning he's been here a few times. The squirrels have been fighting over one of the bird feeders. There's like four of them out there, so I don't know what they're fighting about. <laughs> the little tiny birds. We call them chickadees, but I don't actually know what they are. There are a lot of them here. Hold on. Okay. A lot of them. And then we have. Where is he? There we go. He just, the squirrels just get right in the bowl. It's pretty funny. Okay, it's uh, about 9 20 a.m., Saturday, August 20th. It is below 70 degrees and we've gotten our morning chores done and had coffee and all that so we're gonna go get some steps in since we're sadly lacking in steps girls are saying hi um so we're gonna go get some steps in before it gets too hot and the kids then the kids come yeah the kids are coming over this afternoon for dinner we're gonna play cornhole in the driveway 
We invited the neighbor girls if they want to, the little girls if they want to come over and play cornhole, they can. Uh, anyway, same girls who just said hi. <laughs> anyway, we won't catch them on camera. That's not okay. They're too little. Anyway, we're going to go across the street, go for a walk. I think there's some garage sales going on, so maybe poke around. I don't really need anything, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you with us where I can. I'll be back. Okay. It is 1.05 p.m. The kids are combing over at about 4, I think. Um, Bob and I are just doing chores. Had lunch when we got back. Put ice on my knees, feeling fine. Oh, my book is ready to pick up. Okay, sorry. I got a text message from the library. Um, now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, anyway... So, I'll have to check on library hours and see if I can go pick the book up tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll do it next week. Anyway, so Bob is doing a few more chores before the kids come over. I'm going to go drop off some donations at Goodwill and see if they have any more of those wood rainbows I got the other day, if they still have them. They had a whole bunch of them, and I only bought two. With my luck, they don't have any more, but we're going to go look and see. Maybe they do? We'll find out. I'll be back. Okay, got some donations dropped off and they still had a bunch of these unfinished wood rainbows originally from Target and still available on the Target website, by the way. Um, I don't know if somebody just bought a whole bunch of them and didn't use them. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't buy them all, but I did buy uh, eight more besides the two I already have at home that I made. And so... Now I can just kind of stick them in my spare parts closet and I found they're really therapeutic to make and enjoyable to make and I have a friend coming to visit in October and I'm kind of looking forward to her and I doing one while she's here that she can maybe take home with her. So there's that. All right. I'm going to go home now because now I've got to get ready for the kids to come over. So I'll be back. It's Sunday morning, August 21st, 1st, 10.03 a.m. Guess what I forgot to do last night? Yep, close the vlog. <laughs> um, as you saw from some video clips, if you're watching this clip, you've seen those clips. We had uh, family dinner night last night. And, um, you know, I didn't film as much as I did just hanging out with the family. And there's, you know, nothing wrong with that. You need to make sure to spend time with those that you love. And we had uh, sort of cocktails and cornhole in the driveway. <laughs> we were playing cornhole and the boys were throwing a softball around. We lost, we lost one baseball into the woods, but, you know. Um... <laughs> The neighbors came by to visit, and um, the neighbor girls came by to visit, and, you know, it was a really nice afternoon. Yes, we were in the driveway, but, I mean, it was just a nice afternoon, and then when it was time, we cleaned that up, and everybody went, all the neighbors went home, and we came inside. The kids helped us clean up the driveway. We barbecued a few steaks. We played scattergories, which I suck at just as much as cornhole. <laughs> um, but it was a fun evening. So yeah, I hope that you guys have had a chance this week to spend time with those that you love and you've had a fun time and made some great art. I did in the midst of all that have an Amazon delivery of which the bag came like this. That's right. It was never sealed properly. And it was open. And something was missing. So that's okay. They're taking care of it. They're going to send me a new one. And yeah, anyway, I got some product packaging I needed to send out some of the custom art foamies to patrons and supporters. They get, uh, they're getting a custom one. And um, I need to print some little card enclosures and stickers and things to go in there. So 
I've got to work on that this week because I need to get those out soon. But that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Um, my social media, my Facebook group, my Etsy shop, all of that stuff is in my link tree list of links and or in the video description. So check it out along with anything else that's relevant. And, um, you know, go check out Art Foamies and think about buying a couple of Foamies from them. It's a, you know, USA based mom and pop. And I know they could use the business. You don't have to buy my designs, but if you do, thank you. But there are some great designs from a bunch of different designers over there. So go check it out. And um, I... I don't know if they're running a sale right now or not, but, you know, go check it out regardless. And, um, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.